been reading? Some lore. What lore have I been reading? Did lore. That's right, dissociative identity disorder lore. And the ins and outs of that serious disorder and how it affects people. In fact, it infects one to five percent of the international population. Very similar rate to other severe dissociative disorders. But it seems on TikTok this percentage could be higher than the world, all right? Especially under the age of 15. These kids, they've got these alters in their minds. Disney characters. Airbud. That thingamabob that Hagrid rides around on in Harry Potter land. Hag Hogwarts is what it's called. Are you Slytherin? Are you Gryffindale? <laughs> or are you just Mr. Munchausen's? People like being the center of attention on TikTok a lot. The easiest way to do that, it seems like in 2021 and 2022, is to pretend that you have a serious traumatic illness. Instead of just, you know, going outside and playing like a normal five to 10 year old to 15 year old and making gun sounds like I used to do, you have to save face and claim mental illness, whether it's Tourette's or did, or, you know, anything else that's fun and quirky like those two things. They're not. Today, we're gonna be diving into the jovial world of fake disorder cringe, part two, my friends. This is a great Reddit, by the way, r forward slash fake disorder cringe. I, I, I occasionally browse it because it has all the best fake disorder cringe on the internet. And a lot of it, some of it might not be real. They're not, might not be people faking, to be honest, but you know, it is quite a place for entertainment. Hogwarts houses Here we are go. really just how you dealt with trauma as a child. Hufflepuffs are accommodators. Yell at them and they'll be quiet in the hopes that you stop yelling. Right. Gryffindors are aggressors. Yell at True. them and they'll yell right back. Ravenclaws are the escapers. Yell at True. them and they're putting on headphones. And Slytherins are the Avengers. Yell at them and you'll regret it. Poor girl. That's how we deal with childhood trauma. That's how I deal with it though. You know, that's why I'm, you know, whenever, whenever I'm not standing in front of the camera dancing like a, like a clown, clown boy, I'm flying around on Hagrid's, Hagrid's thingamabob above the, above the Iberian Peninsula. Just. Why do, why are people like this, man? Also, don't hate anyone on this video. Don't bully anyone in this, in this video that is kind of perpetuating this thing. You shouldn't get triggered by it if you do have a mental illness and you see someone who's like pretending or whatever just to, to have some form of identity and feel special. So they got their own problems to worry about. So don't, you know, don't attack too much. Hey guys, I'm Zeno. I'm the altar that helps the host wipe their ass after they take a shit. <laughs> I love the sense of humor of this, this thread as well. It's pretty fucking funny, man. I'm Varg Vikerns, fronting. Frick off, ugh, my pronoun pronouns are they, church, he, flame. I'm pretty sure uh, Varg, Varg burnt a church down in the 70s or 80s and also murdered someone. This is not that cool of a fake disorder to have. <laughs> That's cool get up though. Love it. This is Jay Schlatt. Their altar is Jay Schlatt. Dream s &P. What the f I'm gonna send this to Jay Schlatt. Oh. Yeah, real. If I don't brush my teeth for over two minutes and under two minutes and 10 seconds, I wash my mouth out and I brush my teeth again. That is actual real, real OCD. Doctor diagnosed. It's not possible to already form alters of a game that came out a week ago. You guys are so bad at pretending to have did. That's so funny. So now there is infighting. There's infighting. The fake did community is gatekeeping did. These, you, I don't even know what the, legal age to even be diagnosed with did is. I don't think it's 12 or 13. I think it's older than the people that use TikTok. <laughs> A list of all my chronic diseases, most continued all diagnosed. <laughs> 
asthma, epilepsy, OCD, did dementia. I've got dementia, BPD, autism, ADHD, anxiety, major depressive disorder, Tourette syndrome, dyslexia, dysgraphia, dyscalculia, chronic allergy, some shit that makes me smell bad and no doctor knows what it is, some genetic shit that makes me shake, and once again, no doctor knows what it is, no doctor. Also posted by a 15 year old. I can also, you wanna add another one? Munchausen syndrome is a psychological disorder where someone pretends to be ill or deliberately produces symptoms of illness in themselves. Ring, ding, 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 ding. Also, just in case you guys didn't know, DID is not a mental illness. Uh, DID slash OSDD systems aren't mentally ill unless they're comorbid illnesses like COVID, right? Like if you're morbidly obese, you're fucking <laughs> huge. And you also have diabetes and, uh, you know, other metabolic syndromes. DID is in fact a coping mechanism. We aren't sick, we're scared. That was me writing Hagrid's thingamabob again. Okay, motherfuckers. This is insane. This is so crazy. When are y'all gonna realize that the reason did EDs, anxiety, and BPD are all the uh, all of a sudden so common is because when you come onto a children's app and post videos of yourself with a rare and unique interesting condition, kids who crave individuality and want to be famous special are going to see the attention. It's called Munchausen disease. The Wonderland system is a perfect example of a teen who has fall, fallen its Wonderland system. How you keep seeing videos about alters and Wonderlands and DID systems and that kind of stuff. So not too long ago, this creator made a video where they introduced people to the different alters that live inside of them. The alters had names like Bunny and Oliver and had unique characteristics like a stutter. Well, more recently, they made a video where they said they have 271 alters living inside of them. Hopefully this explains what's showing up on your For You page right now. Well, more recently, they made a video where they said they have 271 alters. This is why you keep seeing videos about alters and wonderlands and DID systems and that uh, kind of stuff. Ah, I've seen this. This person here, they have 271 alters. 70 of them were developed within three months. It seems to me like a gross misrepresentation of uh, of an actual mis mental illness and pretty sad. I don't know, how do we how switch, do you switch so, so quickly? Me? This person has did, by the oh. way. We almost glitched, yeah, oh. I felt that. She's switching between her personalities, her different identities. I'm not sure this is real. Bug the voice out. This seems fake. Like just do the vocal cords? Yeah, so doing this seems like it's not the actual cord. did because that's like um. a traumatic experience. Let's stop doing this. Yeah, thank you. So I used to work with uh, mild to moderate special education, special needs children, and uh, one of the seventh grade girls had DID, dissociative identity disorder, and uh, it's not fun. Like, Yeah, I, ca I can imagine. Thank you for making an excellent TikTok stitching the fool. <laughs> The absolute <laughs> buffoon that we witnessed in the very beginning there. That's really embarrassing. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I am now switching. I am now switching. I'm I am Caleb. I am Papa Umsi. I am Caleb. Suck my wiener. Shut the f up! Did only takes up one to three percent of the population, so you clearly don't have it. You fakers make me sick. One percent of the population. That's like everybody in California and Texas all have did, guys. I am fairly mentally stable, generally speaking, okay? I have manic ups, manic downs, I have OCD, depression, the, the standard shit, okay? A panic disorder. I don't have anything that rest, diet, and occasional psychiatric help can't deal with, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm very lucky to be where I am. There are people who are schizophrenic, right? People who cannot, their, their reality, they walk into a room and they, and they think, am I hallucinating? And they don't know, okay? If I were to do that, it'd be funny. Watch. Am I hallucinating? Thank you, I'll be here. Uh for a while. There's no way that's true. I think it is maybe 1% because like schizophrenia is about 1% of the global population. I'm assuming that's tied in with other severe disassociative disorders. So one to 5%. So, you know, one in a hundred people basically. Let's talk about autism and self-diagnosis because it's still a massively misunderstood subject and I am sick of it. Because the main argument that people use against self-diagnosis is that they think that people wake up one day and just label themselves autistic. We need to view self-diagnosis by definition as doing extensive research, looking into getting a formal diagnosis as and where possible. Nobody really wakes up one day and just decides that they're autistic. Please show me proof that that's happened. Open TikTok, scroll for a minute. You'll find something, I'm sure. The 
very existence of Munchausen's invalidates everything that you're saying. 1% of the population has a tendency and need to uh, create illnesses so they can be the, cent the center of attention. It's very, it's very common. It's very common. 1% of the population. Well, look, uh, look, uh, guys, an altar, a Jesus. <laughs> they, them, repressed little Jesus tooth, 17 years old. Yo! <laughs> What till they find out what happened to him? Things I could talk about for hours. 99% of did TikTok do not have did. I do believe they are suffering from serious mental illness, which causes a need for community, pain, validation, empathy, which is why they get so defensive when someone fake claims them. I believe you are in real pain. I do not believe you had did. That, see, that's a perfect middle ground. I have to agree with that completely. That is totally true. I'm not sure about real pain. I know that there are a lot of people who don't even have access to TikTok who are in a lot more pain than anyone who has access to TikTok and feels like the only way out that they have is did. There are people who are dying from cancer. There are people who are short. There are people who, you know, don't have their legs, limbs, etc. And I tend to feel more bad and, and, and I have more empathy for those people. But if you need a sense of community and you feel no validation, uh, and you, you lack empathy, tell your friends, tell your parents. If you don't have friends, tell your parents. If you don't have parents, Try to make friends, but try try to be a good person. Don't try to be sick and trivialize things that are incredibly serious. But there also is a disease uh, that they do have. It's called Munchausen's. <laughs> so a little less than 1% of patients in a clinical setting will have Munchausen's disorder. So if 1% of the global population has did, and 1% of the global populations in a clinical setting have Munchausen's, how do those two, I wonder what percentage uh, obviously the, the ones that are properly diagnosed with did do not have Munchausen's, but, and it takes like, you know, 10 years to get properly diagnosed just in general when you have a severe disassociative mental disorder, not whatever people have on TikTok. I'd like to see a direct comparison with like, like in stockbroker, like a stock meme, stonks meme with did and uh, Munchausen's and you have like TikTok and you <laughs> invest, invest, invest in Munchausen's. It's going viral. Why am I undiagnosing myself with did? Me every day. Today, I'm no longer, I don't have a panic disorder anymore, guys. Today, I'm not gonna feel bad about myself. Today, I'm going to uh, be normal. I'm gonna drink coffee and not worry for every waking second how fast my heart's beating. I'm going to bend over without thinking all the things that could go wrong. I am one of our protectors. Those of you who are getting upset at Eliana for existing are bullying a child. This person has a bunch of different altars in their system. One of them is a Jewish altar, and they just go on this big apology for having a Jewish altar, which is not really an apology, and it's more so just a hilariously ironic and offensive thing that just exists on the internet now forever, and hopefully will haunt this person for the rest of their lives until kingdom come because that's poetic irony and it's hilarious and I love it. Diagnosed DID system of 23, our alters do not front at work. The reason okay. being is because we don't believe so, it would be fair for you know, our that'd be clients rude. to receive a lesser quality work for the same price just because we got triggered. On top right. of that, if we are switching in our system, we only switch when we're mm -hmm. triggered. Therefore, if I- So that's fair. So, so, okay, I get this. I think I understand. So like someone, let's say who's schizophrenic, don't have a schizophrenic episode when you're at work. Because that would that would undermine the level of work that you're you're gonna provide to society. So fuck <laughs> you and your dissociative mental disorder. Okay, to be honest, I think we should all do what she's doing. Why can't we just all choose to have disorder? This is genius. She's on to something. Mental health does matter. Go ahead and watch this video if you enjoyed. Thank you.